Um, why, thank you, darling. Do you usually see your face in here? Thank you. You're welcome, darling. Since I retired, it's just easier to see the few patients that I have left right here. <laughs> you know, you look so much like your mama. It's scary. No. Oh, Jesus, 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 I'm so sorry. Uh, now I'm gonna, no, no, I, I can, I can do it. It's fine. Shall please? That's why the good Lord made towels. Ooh. Yeah. Go on, shall I have a seat? I'll clean this up. Okay. <laughs> oh, just a little water. A little water. <laughs> oh. There we go. Now, isn't that better? You know, Natalie, it took a lot of courage for you to come here today. More like your mother than you know. And she always used to say, I have to be obedient to the will of God. Come on, Natalie. You don't have to be afraid, honey. It's okay. I saw him. Okay. I followed him. Bundled up like an Eskimo through Times Square. On that viciously cold night. Lights and the music bowing through the frigid air. I I couldn't let him just hold me down. So, you feel anxious? Yes. I lost him. In the crowd. We were separated and he was gone. So you lose him while you was in Times Square? Yes. But I found him on the subway. Wearing that mask of his. He looked like he was innocent. I remembered all of those things. Things he did, and I was furious all over. I hid myself among the masses on the train. I felt like he was in the same. We locked eyes. I couldn't confront him there, so I disappeared. Where'd you go? Home. I needed spiritual guidance to get myself together and prepare.
let's not pretend. the door. Natalie? What are you doing here? Aren't you going to let me in? The look on his face is priceless. It's like he's seeing a ghost. I need to... Yeah, what do you want? Chris, I, I need to talk to you. Talk? Talk about what? Chris, please, just, just let me in. I need to talk. I'm confused, okay? You quit your job without any notice. No one can contact you. Then you just show up at my doorstep. Out of the blue, asking to come in? You know, excuse me if I will roll out the red carpet Chris, for you. Please, uh, it's really important, no. okay? And it's really cold out here. Just please let me in. Chris, please! No, I can't, I can't let you in, okay? I can't. Chris, what do you mean you can't let me oh, in? Oh, wife is coming home, so you're gonna call me. Why, why? Because I need to talk to you about this person. He tries not to let me in. Can't resist. I just looked too damn sexy for him too. <clears throat> and what kind of thoughts were running through your head, Natalie? I I was I was like a giddy child. I I don't know why I was so excited to see him. I just butterflies in my stomach. I'm like... Sorry, doctor. It's okay, child. I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to interrupt. Please, go on. I... take off my coat Perfect. to make myself at home. He was sitting there, clueless, like he didn't know why I was there. Answer me. Now he answer me. Is this your little girl? <sighs> so, I decided to make my move. Answer me. Chris. Isn't this what you want? A bad girl in an even worse city? Don't you want to have your way with me? <laughs> Look, I'm here. Take me! So good. But I keep my focus. I know exactly what he's trying to do. You mentioned the others before. Did you tell him about the women that of he- Of course! That's where we got into an argument. He thought he was so slick, like no one would ever know. Natalie. Natalie, what's wrong, dear? What's going on? <laughs> Natalie, talk to me. Pulled out those guns. Showed him I wasn't playing. You know, <clears throat> Russian roulette, right? Right? Of course you do. We're not gonna play that. We're gonna play something a little different. 
I made him beg for his life. You want your life? <laughs> beg for it. Please. Let me hear you beg for your life. Please don't. Louder! Please don't kill me. Natalie, what day did you say you went to Chris's house? February 18th. Hmm. February 18th. Well, that's very interesting because unless he has a clone or a twin, he was seated at the Attorney of the Year Award dinner for his firm with his lovely wife. According to this article. Natalie, what does the seventh commandment tell us, dear? Thou shalt not lie. Exactly. So now, you're going to have to do some training, young lady. So now, You're going to have to get on your knees and ask God for forgiveness for lusting after that man and being disobedient. Keep praying, child. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 